I just want to just highlight a few things. I, I'm worried, really, about how much sort of fuzzy thinking is going on in the world. Uh, you know, fuzzy thinking. People are just not thinking straight. And I, I try to think hard about what's, what was behind it. And I, I reflect on a time with my sister. My sister is younger than I. I'm four years older. So I'm like a whole school ahead of her, right? So I'm graduating high school, she's entering high school. I'm graduating college, she's entering college. And so one time I said, so Lynn, where do you want to go have lunch today? Because we I had some cash and I, you know. And she said, well, what are my choices? And it was odd because I didn't realize until that moment that she was not yet capable of simply coming up with a fresh idea. Why? Because she'd spent her whole life taking multiple choice tests. So I ask a question, she wants choices in front of her to pick from. This would continue the whole life. And then I tested this with other people. People want choices. And I realized Maybe it's hard to just think originally and come up with a fresh thought that the person who's offering the question hadn't thought up yet. Because I think somehow in our society we're, we're hell-bent on the answer. The answer, the right answer. Because when it's the right answer, it's the right answer. And when it's the wrong answer, it's not the right answer. Consider this following example. Imagine you have a spelling bee. This is contrived, but it makes the point. There's a spelling bee, and you have to spell the word cat. Okay. So one student spells it C-A-T. Person got it right. The next person spells it K-A-T. That's wrong. You got that wrong. Okay. Third person spells it XQW. Do you realize that is marked equally as wrong with the KAT? <laughs> when you could argue that KAT is a better spelling for cat than CAT. Dictionaries know this because that's how they spell it phonetically. And so we've built a system for ourselves where there is an answer and everything else is not the answer, even when some answers are better than others. So our brains are absent the wiring capable of coming up with an original thought or thought not previously considered or thought between the ideas that are already laid on the table. What we're not valuing is knowledge as process rather than knowledge as an answer.